Hi, my name is Colin Marriott. I'm a sophomore in construction engineering management, and today I'll be talking about my freshman year summer internship. So over the past summer, I worked for a construction company called Larson Danielson. They're a general contractor out of LaPorte, Indiana, and they had me working on a job in South Bend. The job I was working on was called um, the Howard Park Renovation Project. It was a $21 million project where basically they took uh, a rundown park in downtown, in the middle of downtown South Bend, and completely redid it. They put in a community center, a, a new restaurant, office space, an ice skating rink, a playground, uh, water features, and they put in a theater and a bunch of walking space too. It really tied the city together. Um, concept face to reality. So coming into this, I knew very little about construction. I had just graduated from uh, freshman year engineering and um, I was very new to everything. So when I arrived to the job site, and I immediately met with architects, met with the project manager, the superintendent. Um, I was taking the meetings, I was taken everywhere, I spent time with the workers, and it was a lot of hands-on learning really fast. And I think I learned a lot because of the hands-on learning, and that was probably what I enjoyed the most. Um, I really enjoyed the routine and daily tasks. I wasn't used to working a 40-hour work week, many times more than 40 hours, and uh, having to get up early in the mornings but it really taught me the big picture and things and showed me what I'm working towards in college, that there is an end goal and that's to have a job working for a company like this. Some of my greatest triumphs. Uh, I spent a lot of time over the summer working on Bluebeam, which is a program many um, construction, uh, construction companies use. I used it to uh, write RFIs, to do the daily logs, to check plans and look over the specs. And I also used it, I used it one time for my boss, he was ordering a, a concrete pour and he wasn't entirely sure how much he needed to get to pour over these like these massive hills for the playground. And he had me use Bluebeam and, and use the drawings to and some use some calculus to find out the surface area of these mounds. And uh, then I I gave it to him. I thought it was really cool that I got to use my college knowledge to uh, apply to the real world. Um, I did a lot of progress tracking where I would meet I would uh, I'd monitor the man uh, monitor the masons, the carpenters, the cement finishers every day. I'd see how much work they got done, how many workers there were, and then I'd, I'd uh, calculate units per man hour to make sure they were keeping up with the, the bid. And uh, I really liked meetings. I had a good time in the meetings and seeing how they progressed. I started off, I was always shy in them. I wouldn't really talk to anyone. I uh, just kind of listened, but by the end of it, I was in the discussions, they were asking me my opinions on things, and I was, I was actually uh, part of the team, and I thought it was great. Lessons learned. This um, this internship taught me first and foremost hard work. Like I said, I wasn't used to a 40 hour job. Uh, I wasn't used to the late nights or late afternoons and actually keeping busy on the job site in construction, there's always something you can be doing. There's always something to build or something to oversee. And uh, so I was very active and I think it really helped my work ethic. It taught me discipline and responsibility. I had I had to be there every morning, I couldn't be late. I was late one time in the beginning, and my my boss actually had me work with the laborers as a as a mason tender the entire day. So I was shoveling mortar, and I really didn't enjoy that. But it it taught me that this is the real world, and there's real consequences, and I could be fired. And it's it's not just like if I forget a homework assignment where I, I get a slightly lower grade. It's there's actually real consequences this time. Um, this taught me teamwork. Every day I was working with people, I was talking to people, relaying messages, sending emails, talking to uh, subcontractors and the architects, and there's a lot of communication involved and you all have to be on the same page and work together. And I think that's something I really grew in. Uh, the construction process, which I talked about earlier, I learned a lot about that. Once you kind of learn how a job site runs and how it operates, you can kind of understand most job sites and kind of pick up on the lingo and just see how it's run. Uh, this job taught me confidence. Showing up at 19 to, as, a, as an intern at 19, where you have a bit of power and you're expected to give commands to workers and be telling them what to do, it's kind of hard when they're a lot older than you. And I learned that pretty quickly that I need to be firm with them and I need to be confident so they would actually listen to me and they'd get work done. And then this taught me a lot about the working world, like I said earlier, with the 40 hour work weeks. It was all very new to me. And, uh, but I think it helped me grow a lot. 
Lastly, I want to say thank you to the CEM program. Uh, without them, I wouldn't have had this internship. I came in uh, not really knowing what I wanted to do, not having any leads on jobs, and I met with the advisors, and they basically set up this internship, asked me where I wanted to work, called the company, scheduled an interview, and yeah, without them, I wouldn't have had this experience. I wouldn't have learned all the things I learned. So I thank you to them, and thank you for listening.